Hi, this is Brian Lazar with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. You can see here on our homepage map where we're sitting at in terms of the state right now, which is at considerable danger across almost all of our backcountry forecast zones, with the exception of the Sangre de Cristo range, which has just missed out on most of this snow that started on December 23rd. We've had a lot of watches and a lot of avalanche warnings. You can see here we're at considerable danger, level three of five. This is still very dangerous avalanche conditions. It just means we've seen a downtick in the number of natural avalanches that we've seen over the last kind of 24 hours. And we have a brief break in heavy snowfall uh, today on Wednesday. However, we have one last punch between now and the New Year's, and that's gonna increase avalanche danger once again. If you look at the map here, I've got, we've got avalanche watches that are out for portions of the Central Mountains. So the Gunnison Zone, the Aspen Zone, the Grand Mesa Zone, down here in the South San Juan Zone, and then up here in the North for the Steamboat Zone. This means we expect high avalanche danger at least, which is level four of five, and another uptick in avalanche activity and natural avalanche cycles starting tomorrow and then many of the other zones the front range the Vale summit the sawatch zones are likely to have watches on thursday which indicates very dangerous avalanche conditions developing by friday and it's pretty easy to see why i'll show you a couple plays of the numerical weather models here this one is the ca's ic's high resolution wharf model and you can see total snowfall accumulation between now and saturday uh, adding pretty heavy snowfall to most of the state of Colorado. Those white areas are pushing, you know, three, three and a half feet of snow by the time we get uh, done with the cycle. And what we see here is just another numerical model. Uh, this one's the GFS, but it shows very much the same pattern. So here's snowfall starting on today. And you can see the red line outline indicates the state of Colorado. And you can see here we get a lot of oranges. That's about a foot of snow. We get reds, which is approaching two feet of snow. And by the end of it, you can see here, we've got some areas that are even approaching white and that's three plus feet of snow by Saturday. So all of this snow is going to lead to another uptick in avalanche danger. So you can expect just like the Christmas holiday to um, have increasing avalanche hazard as we move in towards the New Year's. We're likely to see peak instability taking place um, between Thursday late in the day and Saturday morning backcountry travel in and underneath avalanche strain is just not going to be recommended during these warning periods. We've now built a fairly deep snowpack very quickly, which is great for the long-term projections for our season and hopefully long-term projections for stability. But this is quite a heavy load on buried weak layers in the snowpack. And these have the uh, chances of now producing avalanches as big as we've seen all season. Uh, the really scary part of this stuff is we're seeing continued remote triggering. So people are triggering avalanches from a distance and from below. So you really need to make sure that you don't have steeper slopes overhead or that you're not connected to steeper slopes, even if the terrain you're on is pretty low angle or even flat. Um, so when we're in periods like this that we're moving into in the weekend, um, typical areas that would might be safe, like along the valley bottoms, or long road cuts where you might take the dog for a walk or even go on a snow bike or a Nordic ski, you're going to be exposed to avalanche hazards. So please make sure you stay up to date on the current conditions as things are going to change again pretty rapidly here as we move into the holiday weekend at colorado.gov slash avalanche or on the CAIC mobile app. This is the last punch in a pretty historic run of snow. And in some places we're getting close to record snowfall. Um, and this is all great to see, but it's going to mean dangerous avalanche conditions. We do get a break in the snowfall and a return of the sunshine, but not until after the new year. Expect avalanche danger to slowly decrease, but not until next week when the snowfall and the loading finally stops. Enjoy the new year. Let's welcome 2022. We have a great winter ahead of us, so please stay safe.